Welcome back. Now, every lady wants to create sexy, smoky eyes. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a minefield and you can end up looking like you've been in a boxing match and get it all over your face. It's a complete disaster. Luckily for you, just in time for the weekend, we've got Nancy Spencer, our resident makeup artist and expert, to give us all her latest hints and tips. Thank you so much for joining us, Nancy, this morning. No problem. Now, like I said, smoky eyes, it's a classic, isn't it? Everybody yeah. wants to create those sexy eyes, but unfortunately, if you're a bit heavy-handed or if you don't know what, quite what you're doing, it yeah. can be a complete disaster. So you're going to take it away and show us how to do it the pro way. Yeah, definitely. So there's lots of tips and techniques to remember really. One of them is to blend, 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 but I'll be talking through which brushes to use in a sec anyway. Fantastic. So what I've done first, um, Dion's makeup, I've just done a very, a very sort of um, sheer base with a little bit of uh, cheeks and lips because you don't want to overdo the rest of your makeup, mm. I think, when the eyes are going to be so dark and heavy. Yes. Um, a tip to remember though, if you can, if you've not done your base first, is actually to do your eye makeup before first. you do your foundation. Okay. That's a really, really good tip because it means that you can be as messy as you like with your um, dark eyeshadows. Right. If they drop on your cheeks, you're not going to get... You can wipe it away. Exactly, you can wipe it off and then you can do your foundation That's second. That's a fantastic tip because if you have a perfect base and you've mastered it yeah. and then you get a smudge and then you wipe it and then you've got to do the whole base again, yeah. it just takes so much time. So if exactly. you start with your eyes, that's, that's a really good it's idea. It's a really good tip. So if you have done your foundation first, another really good tip, and this is quite a pro tip as well, is to use some loose translucent powder okay. and just dust it underneath the eyes. Right, and that won't affect the base? Not at all. No? Because okay. it's translucent, you don't want to use anything that's dark, like a bronzing one. Right. It has to be translucent. Mm -hmm. And just look up for me, Dion. If you just dust it underneath the eyes, just pop a little bit underneath. And what this is going to do, if any dark makeup does actually drop while I'm doing It'll the demo, catch it. it catches it and you can just literally brilliant. Just, um, wipe brilliant. it away afterwards. So as you're doing this, you do look a little bit like a rugby player, <laughs> <laughs> but it's all worth it in the end and it's a really, really, really good tip as well. I think okay. you're like a snow princess. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so the next tip really is to make sure that you've put a primer onto the eyes as well. Right, okay. So I've used Urban Decay's um, Potion Primer, that's £9.50, you can that's use it on all price. skin types. And you can use that with any eyeshadow, can you? So Any not just smoky eyes, eyes get yeah. the most purpose use out of it. Exactly, and regardless of what colour smoky eye you're doing, because you can do any colour smoky eye you like, um, you can use it with that as well. So, mm -hmm. And it suits all people, so it's really, really good. And what that's going to do is going to stop your eye makeup creasing and it's going to keep it on all night and yeah. all day, say if you've got a wedding or a party Fantastic. or whatever. So actually, because a lot of people might be quite apprehensive to yeah. buy an extra product, we've mentioned this before, they yeah. might not want to buy a primer because you can't really see the effects, but actually throughout the end of the day you will see the effects. Exactly. So it's definitely worth it. Um, Oh, it's so worth it completely. Brilliant. So the colours that I'm going to go for today are going to be charcoal. That's a really big colour for the mm -hmm. smoky eye for this season. Okay. It was seen on Versace, YSL, catwalk shows. Brilliant. So I'm going to take an applicator brush. Now I'm going to go on a bit about brushes today because that's what it's about with your smoky eyes. Because they're quite confusing. I think mm. it's good because you know we see all these brushes and a lot of people just end up using their fingers because we just don't know what we're doing. So yeah. I hear that it makes a huge difference, yes. but I don't really know what to use. It so. totally does. That's why yeah. makeup artists have about 50 brushes because you Not really just to look need very important. No, exactly. <laughs> well, a little bit. <laughs> but, um, what I'm going to use is an applicator brush, first of all, and this actually gets the colour where it needs to go. Right. So this applies the colour. It's quite obvious, really. So I'm going to use a MAC colour called Night Divine, and this is like a really graphite grey. It's very beautiful. I love the name. It's Night gorgeous, Divine. isn't it? Very sexy, isn't it? What you want to do is you want to start with the colour right next to your lashes, and this is really important because you don't want any gaps to be next to the lashes. You don't want to see any flesh sort of poking right. through. Okay. And then you want to take this colour just up to where the socket is. Now if you can feel with your finger where the socket is, it's the bone that's about halfway up your eye. That's where the colour wants to go. So just pop a little bit on the other side as well. And you can see already how the eyes start to stand out Definitely. just by popping a little and bit of And the lightest on. touch, isn't it? Because a lot of people yeah. get a bit heavy handed. Exactly. And I think what I've noticed as well, if you do spend a little bit more on an eyeshadow, you don't need to be so heavy. The cheaper ones, you really need to sort of rub to get yeah. any colours to come out on the skin. Exactly. But that I can just see using the lightest touch. Yeah, exactly. And it's gone on straight away. Yeah. So once that's gone on up to the socket, what you want to do is grab a blending brush. So this is the second brush we're going to use today. This is very soft and fluffy and it gives that diffused smoky look. Okay. And then you're literally running it into the socket. And I say go a bit like a windscreen wiper, <laughs> so backwards and forwards, and this will just diffuse just the colour. Just blend, blend and blend, really. Yeah, exactly. And this is something that you couldn't do with your finger. Right. This is why you really, really need a blending brush. So just blend backwards and forwards into the socket, and it actually starts to just, just so diffuse much softer, that colour. Just so much isn't it? Just yeah. so much. 
just more elegant and, and more elegant exactly and that's the name of it isn't it it's the smoky eye and it does it has to smoke out and yeah, wing out it that's looks very lovely. true very true third brush I'm going to use today is the angle brush now this is fantastic for using eyeliner um, uh, your eyeshadows as eyeliner sorry and also you can do your brows I've actually filled in Dion's brows with an angle brush just with a little bit of brown shadow today as well so that I'm really frames use... the face isn't it a lot of people are apprehensive yeah. to even touch their eyebrows because you don't want to make too much feature of them but yeah. actually I can see it's really balanced out all your features exactly and they do the eyebrows frame the face as you say so what I've used is night divine again just with the angle brush if you look up for me Dion and now all I want to do is come under the line and just dab this colour underneath and this is really important when you're doing a smoky eye the, the shape of it is quite round and then quite feline right okay so if you don't come underneath the eye you're not making that smoky shape it's a bit heavy isn't it top heavy if you yeah, don't go underneath exactly so it needs to be all the way around it gives that really beautiful shape so just doing a little bit on the other side again and you're so, not using an eyeliner underneath the eye you're using no, all, all, I'm the using all the shadow and just dabbing that in just like that Really, it's a lot really softer nice. as well, I think. Sometimes if you use a liner, yeah. you can, I say, look a bit drag queen, but yeah. that's really, really soft. It's really, really easy to do. So I am going to use a coal liner, though, because it is important to get that smokiness, especially right, right into okay. the lashes. Okay. So I'm going to use a number seven black eyeliner, and this is really soft. I'm just going to support the brow. Just close your eyes, dear. And then this comes right in next to the lashes. And this just... It's a bit more intense, isn't it? The, the yes. pencil allows you to really get that intense black. Exactly. So you can just rub that Beautiful. straight in and just make sure that it goes right into the root of the lashes. Again, try not to have any gaps if you can. And the, well, you mentioned there that if you're using a high quality pencil, you won't have to drag. Because no. I remember when I first started using eyeliner, really, really dragging it, almost like a crayon on my face. Yeah. But that one, again, the lightest touch. Exactly, really, really soft. So makeup's come a long way. It has, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And when you're buying your eyeliners or any lip liners, eyeliners in the shop, what I always do is just give it a rub on that part of your hand. Okay. Just to test the softness. And it warm it up, I guess. And it well, warms it? it up, exactly. But what you want to do is make sure that it's not hard, that it's not going to drag the eye. Because mm -hmm. then it makes your eye makeup really difficult. You can't smudge it or blend it in either. And your eye's so much more sensitive than any other part of your skin. Skin. So yeah. if it's dragging on your, your wrist, it's going to hurt your eyes, isn't it? Exactly. So we've got a minute left. Okay, just look up for me, Dion. So come into the waterline, which is the bottom, just the fleshy bit. And then just pop a little bit of black just in there. Just look up again. So you're actually going on the inner rim. The inner rim, right? yeah. It's just called the waterline. That adds a little bit more. What if you wear contact definition. lenses? Could it's you do that? Absolutely fine. It'll be yeah, okay. no problem. Just look up for me. You can just wipe away. Beautiful. And it's not, it is dramatic, but it's not as dramatic as I thought. I always think smoky eyes as being really, really intense black, yeah. but actually that's so much softer, so much prettier. It's really soft, really pretty. I mean, if you want to, if we had more time, we could obviously, we could put more black into, you know, the outer corner. Right. You could so make you it look... you can build it up and intensify. Absolutely. So I'm just going to use a little bit of um, projectionist um, Estee Lauder mascara. Just look down. Obviously, lashings and lashings of black mascara is essential. And it is a look that you can really get away with really lashing on the mascara, can't you? To get really Absolutely. dramatic eyes. Get it right on, that's why I say. I don't think Dion needs much mascara. You've got stunning eyelashes as it is. <laughs> yeah, she's beautiful. Fantastic. Well, okay. thank you so much, no Nancy. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. You look beautiful before and you look even more stunning now. <laughs> so it's not fair, is it?